Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I heard Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is a channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're going to be taking a look at your divine timing message here. So let's take a look here at your Aries. Sun is in Venus rising. What do we have here? What do you need to know at this moment in time? What is this symbol for Aries? All right. One more. All right. So somebody here has an energetic message for you. It says, I wish I could take back my words. I want to start over. And my life is not as together as it seems. Okay, so that was a, a, a message here, a cryptic message somebody's trying to get through. At the bottom of the deck, I don't know why this happened in reverse. So that could be something that you're feeling, Aries. But somebody wants you to know that they wish they could take back what they said. They want to restart with you. And if they are putting up some sort of facade, like everything is everything, it is not, okay? It is not. So let's take a look here at this message here for Aries. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. My eyes are going towards that. That purple deck might pull one or two at the end. So let's see here. Ooh, somebody could, um, ooh, the tower is at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the Hierophant. Page of Cups here. Somebody could have learned a really deep spiritual lesson here. They're wanting to apologize and they're wanting to come back towards you and have some sort of new beginning. They're wanting to express um, emotions and feelings towards you. And I feel like it's because they're missing you and they've learned some sort of lesson here. And they may be wanting to recommit with the willing will of this is right under the will of fortune is right underneath. I want to start over. So they want a new cycle with you. They could be experiencing some sort of karma and some loss here as well. Tell us about the will of fortune, but they've learned some sort of lesson. Yep. Six of pentacles, maybe for breadcrumbing you or leading you on. And they're wanting another chance to balance the situation out with the fool and the nine of wands here. This person here is holding on to the thought of having a new beginning with you. They're wanting to be freed from some sort of toxic energy that they're in. They're barely making it. They may be pretending to the outside world, the fool card here, that everything is everything. They are doing good and things like that. This, if you see this fool energy, this person is kind of like fear, fearless, taking leaps of faith. But these two cards came out together with the nine of wands here. It's really not. They're really bruised and beat down. Okay. On the inside, I'm not I'm just, it's me. I laugh at everything. Okay. But the fool here in the nine of wands energy, they really beat down and, and, and struggling. You may be laughing Aries and I'm going to put that on you. So, um, let's take a look here. Let's take about the fool and the nine of wands and then a pull two from the yeah, six of wands. This could also be them holding back, wanting to come towards you. But, you know, the Six of Wands is a lot about confidence, success, and victory. So with the Nine of Wands and the Fool card, this person is, is really pretending that their life is together. And it says here, my life is not as together as it seems. They really could be showboating, but really struggling in secret. Okay. And the Four of Pentacles, it could have to do with financial um, situations or, you know, things like that. Let's see here. Look at that marriage proposal. That's what this looks like with this page of cups. Like, I miss you. I love you. Let's get married. <laughs> like, that's what it looks like. And they got marriage proposal at the bottom of the deck. Let's see here. Look at this. So we got trust issues in reverse and sneaky link. Okay. 
um, involved with a secret lover. With the Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. This is letting me know that if somebody did this to you, Aries, they are now receiving this karma back. They're receiving this lesson back. It's like somebody, it's like if they did this to you, gave you trust issues, made you not be able to trust, you know, had sneaky links on you, this situation has turned around and it's it's being reversed back to them. Like that's the lesson here that they're learning. It is going back to them. We have drug or alcohol addiction, so they could not be coping well. And I'm addicted to having sex with you. Wow. Direct message to you from your person's energy. That could be the reason why they're wanting to come back too with the nine of wands and the six of wands. Ooh. And then we got soulmate here. Regretful and remorseful here. An intentional pregnancy. Planned pregnancy, sex with um, intentions of conceiving a child. Now, this could have been somebody that they're connected to that had an intentional pregnancy. Or if they're planning to come back to you and you're in areas that can get pregnant, okay, um, then they could be wanting to put a baby in you or vice versa. You know how it goes, all right? So, or get pregnant by you. That could be a way that they think that they're going to be able to hold on to you. Um, but yeah, I do believe though with the trust issues in reverse and the sticky link, that's the strongest energy here is that somebody here is receipt is getting that back to them. They have trust issues now, maybe because they're doing or because their sneaky link has turned into someone who's cheating on them. And yeah, so the will of fortune says what goes around comes around. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care.